More trouble for a local dermatologist. ABC Action News, the first to uncover sexual misconduct allegations against Dr. Robert Norman. And now the doctor is shelling out millions of dollars after the federal government accused him of submitting false claims. Here's Serena Fazan with the newest information and how it could affect patients. This YouTube video shows Dr. Robert Norman discussing dermatology, but he has not responded to questions from ABC Action News about this lawsuit. The physician agreeing to pay the government $4 million. Officials accused him of making false claims to receive millions in Medicare and Medicaid reimbursements. Uh, you put your faith into these, these people. They have a degree, you know, you think they know what they're doing. And then you turns around and you find out that, oh, wait a minute, they're in trouble. Sarah Regenhardt is not a patient of Dr. Norman's, but uses the pharmacy right next door to one of his many offices. She had actually considered using Dr. Norman, not anymore. Oh, no, I wouldn't go. No, no. And I would, I would, you know, I would tell other people, you know, beware. Dr. Norman has been in trouble before. In December, he heads to federal civil court on sexual allegation claims we first uncovered on Action News a year ago. We found the Massachusetts board revoked Norman's license after a similar sexual misconduct allegation in the late 1980s. And while he is in trouble again, he is still licensed in Florida. Serena Fazan, ABC Action News. And just minutes ago, we heard back from an attorney for Dr. Norman who says Dermatology Healthcare fully cooperated with the investigation and believes the allegations are without merit. They say the quality of care was never challenged during the investigation. We'll post the full response in our story on our website at abcactionnews.com.